Hi, I would like to show you the workflow of my project. And the workflow has one, two, three, four, five steps. Uh, I'll first get to step one started. Um, so because it takes some it takes some time. So the first step is to build a singularity container. And I'll just uh, override it here. So what the singularity container does, it creates all the code you need to run on uh, Bianca. Um, of course there are some scripts that will be zipped along with it. Uh, it's actually the same folder. Northern Swiss Population Health Study Machine Learning uh, Quantitative Traits. Um, there are a lot of scripts in it as well. Uh, for example this build script is one of the many. And uh, so it creates a zip with the singularity container and all the scripts you need. And when we've created that zip we can upload it um, to Bianca for example, uh, unzip it and run it. So this step takes uh, a couple of minutes. I'm gonna st stop the video here and i see you soon. Hi. So the, the, the singularity container is still created. Um, there are a lot of things it has done. So I just scroll a bit up so you have an idea what you should see on your screen. Uh, basically what it does, it uses a singularity container from singularity hub uh, that I already uploaded and from that it installs the new version of Plinker, the new version of Ormor, the new version of GCAER and the new version of Noise People Health Machine Learning Qt in that container. So that's what it's doing and um, it, um, so those are all the dependencies. So I wrote a blog post on this uh, where you could also read that. Richard Bildwick slash singularity blog, I think. Singularity blog post, somewhere like there. Um, in which I describe the, the full workflow. So here you see a picture. It's probably too small to read on a video. But Plinker uh, is used by Orma. Orma is dependent by is is depends on is used by GCAR. That's used by that thing. And the goal of all these packages, Plinkers to use Plink, Ormers to use Python, GCAR is to use GenoCA, and the, the final package that is now being built, the singularity container, this, the, this is the singularity container that's being built, allows you to run scripts on a high performance uh, cluster. So it should be done any moment now. Um, I'm going to cancel the video for now. See you soon. All right, so the next step is to create a starter zip, which is the zip file that contains the singularity container and all the scripts in here. So this takes some time because of the singularity containers is a, a couple of gigabytes. So I'm not gonna wait for that. Uh, see you in the next video. All right, so now we have our zipped file. We need to upload it. Um, for this I always use um, the scripts in the Richel folder uh, sent to Rackham because I'm on my home computer so I can't send the zip directly to Bianca but if you're on the University of Uppsala webs um, if you're within the university you can do this directly um, mm -hmm. uh, but here you need to if you're not um, mm -hmm. So if you're not at the University of Uppsala environment, then you need to send it first to Rackham and from Rackham send it to Bianca. So that's what I'm doing now. Um, this will take some time, so upload the zip first to Rackham. Rackham, then to Bianca. All right, so this uh, will take some time, so see you soon. All right, so our zip file is now uploaded to Rackham. So let's log into Rackham. Let's oh, not be. So I'm on Rackham now, and um, so this is where it is. Uh, this is an old one. I'll just remove it. Why not? Um, we're going to send this to Bianca. So you can do that from Rackham. Um, you can't use a command to like like the regular upload to Rackham was using SCP, uh, secure copy I think. Uh, this thing you just need to this to send to Bianca you need um, SFTP. So you just have to 
type send, send to Bianca and this will open the SFTP server. For this you need two-factor authentication. So I have an app for the two-factor authentication. Five, seven, six, five, two, four. Uh, you need to do that twice. Um, in this case, I just made a typo somewhere. Well, so password and then the two-factor authentication. Ah, all right. Um, I can't send stuff to Bianca anymore. So that's uh, that's okay. So what you would have done on Bianca is um, you just unzip. Uh, you just unzip the thing, um, and then you basically run it. So I'm just going to show it here locally. All right. So I'm just going to make the uh, going to make a Bianca folder. Copy GitHub. Start a zip dot. I'm going to move it because I don't need it. So here it is. If you would have this on Bianca, you just unzip it. It won't be in this folder. It will be in the uh, in the uh, the folder where you can upload and download with. It's called the the Marina. No, what's it called again? The hatch. The batch. Well, it's uh, the wharf. It's in the wharf folder. Um, there you unzip it. And when it's done, zip, I'm going to cancel it because I don't care what about the singularity container. Then you do, um, then you just run a script, dun -dun -dun -dun, script Bianca 20, start issue 5, for example. And then on Bianca, this will submit jobs to the queue and it will run. Alright, so this is uh, my workflow. Uh, enjoy!